Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Tactical Talk with Mad Dog Armory. I am your host, Jillian, and my partner, partner in crime. I'm Shad. Partner Hi. in crime, Shad. Yep. Uh, welcome to the show. We are here every Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. You can catch us on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media platforms. Yep. Uh, WeBeam TV is gracious enough to host us, so you can find us there as well. Um, Shad and I are the owners of Mad Dog Armory. We are um, very proud of our shops. They are, we have two now, uh, retail stores, uh, one in Tampa, South Tampa, Florida, yep. and one in Largo. We um, are retail gun shops and training centers. Um, and we were very excited to be able to do this show for our viewers and listeners. Uh, to listeners? Talk Listeners, some listeners. people just listen, I think, maybe. Watch. watch. Don't just listen, watch. Okay. Well, watch and listen. Um, so we're very excited that uh, we have this platform to yep. talk about firearms, the gun industry. Um, we bring you new products and services and uh, all different gun industry stuff. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we are very happy to have this platform because, uh, especially with today's show that we'll talk about shortly, um, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, there's a lot of stigmas about guns and things sure. like that. So we are very happy to have this platform. Um, so please go to our social media and like and subscribe. Share. Do a lot of sharing. Share. Honestly, that we really need to get this out. Um, there's episode three. <laughs> was it episode three? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, we're a little past episode three. We are at 16 Six today. Holy shnikes. I think, right? Sweet 16. Sweet 16, mm. yeah. So this is our 16th episode. Um, so please go back and watch the previous shows. Just we, don't look at episode one. Episode one. <laughs> I rewatched it a little bit. It's really bad. It's, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought. No, it's really bad. I mean... It was yeah, okay. It was I mean, for, for what we knew at the time, it wasn't bad at all. But we knew negative three. That's right. what we knew when we walked we kinda in and just, did that show. Yeah. We kind of just <laughs> walked in and they were like, here you go, mic'd up, go. You know, we were, we're like, like, what? Uh... Um, so, but we are very passionate about gun rights yeah. and the Second Amendment. So it's gotten easier because we're talking about things we're passionate about. Sure. So um, it does make it kind of easy because in the beginning we were like, what are we going to talk about for an hour? How can we talk about this right. for an hour? And here we go. Last week's show was about cleaning. And we're like, are we gonna, how are we going to talk about cleaning for, for an, an hour? hour? And we actually ran out of time. Right. So yeah, it's happens. working out. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we're glad that you're joining us. We appreciate you watching. Yep. Uh, like I said, very important for you to like and share and subscribe. Share these posts and uh, yeah. videos with the public. It's yeah, very, this, very this important. This episode really, really, really... It's, we're going to talk important. a little bit about last night's speech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we're going to cover that for sure. So tonight's episode is going to be on um, the NRA, the National Rifle Association, mm -hmm. how important that is. Yep. Um, some, some NFA information, the National Firearms, Firearms Act. Act information, mm -hmm. uh, raising the age of long gun purchases, which was talked about last night, um, last night and in the media for the last couple of weeks. Um, yep. Weapons of war that keeps being um, thrown yep. out there. Um, that's really frustrating for people in the gun industry because... Right. Weapons um, of war and assault rifles. Assault weapons uh, yeah. was mentioned a lot last night. And our yep. show actually changed from uh, earlier in the week to what it is now because yeah. of uh, the uh, Biden's address um, and a couple other uh, media things that are going on that we're getting frustrated with. Right. And I'm sure a lot of other responsible gun owners are getting very frustrated. Um, Patriots and Second Amendment supporters are all uh, right. up in arms about what's going on. So we wanted to touch on a lot of important information. Um, we're going to talk about four items that were discussed in that uh, press conference last night. Yeah. Um, so we can clarify a lot of things that was a lot of... Um, not necessarily misinformation, but just the way it's told is wrong. Um, misguided, maybe? Misguided, yeah. yeah. Just misleading. Misleading, yes. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we are going to talk about that um, uh, today. So it's very important stuff. We, we also mm -hmm. have our raffle. Ooh. Yes, we are. So you stay mm -hmm. tuned. That's going to be at the end of the show. Correct. So no fast forward and all that kind of crap. So watch <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, we are going to do our drawing for mm -hmm. uh, the gun that's behind me here, the yep. 
uh, Black, Black Rain, Rain Ordinance, Ordinance AR-15. Bro-15. Um, Bro-15 is That's the model. Right. It's an OD green. It's a really nice rifle. It's yep. really nice. Um, the value is, what, 1500 to... 1600 I think. 1600 like yeah. um, So one lucky uh, person is going to win that raffle today. So yep. we are going to do the drawing live right here. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Um, and we're very excited about that. Thank you for everybody that... Um, Participated. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, so... A little bit about Mad Dog Armory, kind of skipped over it a little bit, but um, but our two locations um, have uh, our staff who we've trained, uh, friendly and knowledgeable yeah. staff. We opened Mad Dog Armory um, because, like I said, we are very passionate about your Second Amendment rights, and um, and we're very very passionate about education and educating the community on training, uh, training, mm -hmm. training, and training. Legally uh, owning, storing. Um, everything using, using cleaning cleaning just you name it everything yeah. that responsible gun owners should be doing um, and then also following the rules and regulations that are put in place for that safe storage for um, you know having responsible gun owners be the be the ones that are owning guns sure. and different things so so we're uh, going to touch on all that today but I wanted to go back to our shops yeah. because uh, we are local uh, to the Tampa Bay area um, we hopefully soon will have a couple in South Carolina, maybe. Good old South Kakalaki. Um, so we are franchising. So we're franchising our business model. So you can own your own Mad Dog Armory if you'd like. Um, mm -hmm. We also have some interest in the Sarasota area. Mm -hmm. um, Ohio, I think, was one we just recently had. So if you're interested in spreading um, our the mission. The word. Yeah, spreading and, our word and the word. Yeah, having so. a turnkey solution to owning your own gun shop and training yep. center we would love to help you with that so just reach out and we'd love to have mad dogs all over the place yep. so we can um encourage safe yep. uh, responsible you gun can ownership. either reach us on that at tactical talk at mm -hmm. mdarmory.com or franchising <laughs> franchising <laughs> at yes MD at mdarmory.com yes. yep, yep. Um, but reach out if you're interested, and we can get you some information. Um, all right, so last week wa weekend was mm -hmm. Memorial Day weekend, yes, so hopefully yeah. everybody had a great time. Yeah. Um, we were able to take some time off and do a little bit of boating, so mm -hmm. that was really exciting. Um, we had some family and friends yep. uh, that joined us, so that was very nice. So I hope everybody mm -hmm. enjoyed the holiday, um, and then also remembering what it's about, um, and that's our men and women and the armed forces that have given up their lives to protect us and to protect our constitution and our, Second uh, Amendment our rights, rights and how important. Actually, all of them. I mean, the reality is if, if you can attack the Second Amendment, you can attack every other amendment. Correct. So just keep in mind that if somebody wants to change, remove, or replace, they can do it on all of them. Correct. Yes. Very important. Um, so, so we are very honored to have celebrated that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, um, all right, let's talk guns. So, mm -hmm. I say it every week our Second Amendment is under attack. <laughs> Literally. Now more than ever. Yeah. Um, if you were ever thinking about owning an AR 15, um, get it. <laughs> let's just say that now. Yeah. Um, legislation was passed, what, in the Clinton era, right? That yes. they banned, banned AR 15s. Um, well, so assault weapons. So they did AR-15s, they did AK-47s, and other similar guns. Mm -hmm. So I don't assault have the weapons? assault weapons, right? Assault weapons, yeah. right? Yeah. Weapons of war, whatever. Right. Um, so they do did that. do. They did. Do, do yeah, that. they did do the ban. Okay, thanks. Um, so <laughs> they did do the ban, right. um, and then it, it lapsed. Um, the Bush administration let it lapse. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Appreciate that. Right. Um, so. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, if you are interested in something like that, um, definitely do it now. Um, not saying it's going to pass, but um, right. the way it's going in the media and the way it's looking, um, they're really pushing hard to, yeah. for that. So, um, when people come into the shop and they're like, well, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about a handgun, I'm thinking about that, I'm like, do the, do the rifle now, you know, just in case. Well, it's, so. it's scary because ultimately they talk about wep weapons of war and a weapon of war can be, I mean, all sorts of shit's been used during wartime. So yeah, anything gonna, can technically be considered a weapon of war. Yeah, but, absolutely. And, so. and we'll go through that in yep. a second. Um, so that was my first tip of the day <laughs> is to um, get a yeah. rifle while you can. If they tell you you don't need one, you need two. Yeah, baby. 
Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So let's talk NRA because this cool. is something that's really important for our viewers, listeners, and viewers the and listening. So the NRA is the National Rifle Association. You must join this organization. Everybody should Whether be Whether you member. like them or not. Right, whether I'm just saying at this point, they get point, a bad rap. They they get a bad rap, mm -hmm. you know, and it may not be the best organization ever, whatever. Right, but the reality is they are fighting for our Second Amendment rights. Correct. Period. Right. So we need to help fund them so that they're able to do that because this is getting crazy. Correct. Yes. So the NRA, if you don't know, is the National Rifle Association. They were founded in 1871. Mm -hmm. um, every day, the NRA fights for our rights, our Second Amendment rights against politicians, judges, bureaucrat and bureaucrats yes. who want to regulate, right. restrict, and ultimately destroy our Second Amendment freedom. Yep. Um, so it is very, very important for you to join this organization and support them financially uh, because it is not cheap to take on politicians That's and right. the government. Um, which is why the Second Amendment was created in the first place, That's is right. to protect citizens from a, a tyrannical, tyrannical government. government. Um, so although people want to spin it to this and that and the other thing, that's ultimately what the Second Amendment is about. And, um, and the NRA does um, fight for you. And basically... And they do a hell of a job, too. Yeah, and thank you, Rob, for putting that up there, yeah, because basically the website says, you know, I pulled a couple of things, but um, the NRA is you. So if you're a gun advocate, if you're a gun enthusiast, if you own firearms um, and you uh, share in our belief of the Second Amendment, you are the NRA. So That's you right. need to support them. Absolutely. Um, so if you're considering that uh, joining, do it. Yes. Um, and since 1871, the NRA has grown um, into all sorts of um, aspects of protecting our rights, including the Bill of Rights. Um, right. And we're proud of uh, our protectors of the history, advocating for our right to keep and bear arms, and sure. advancing the shooting sports and gun safety education and training. So they right. are very passionate about that, too. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. And we talk about the USCCA, which is another company that um, is, is a good organization to join. But sure. for the, as far as lobbying and um, fighting Correct. in court and fighting the politicians, really the NRA is the way to go. The, um, they're the head of the spear, and there's definitely mm -hmm. some other organizations that do it, but they are definitely yeah. the head of the spear in this particular situation. Absolutely. So we are asking everybody that's watching to please go onto that website <laughs> and join. I say head of the spear. How about tip of the spear? Tip of the spear. Just the tip. Tip of the day. Just the tip. <laughs> Nonetheless, they're the tip. They're the tip. Yep. <laughs> so join now. Um, and that's it. Join now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do have um, year memberships. Sure. I, mean, I think it's like $40 or something. They do annual. They do three year, mm -hmm. five year. And then they yep. do a lifetime. Right. They do lifetime membership mm -hmm. where you donate a little bit. And you actually get a little bit of stuff back. Yeah, uh, absolutely. In, in regards to all their little memberships, they usually give out some gifts or, or Yeah, you whatnot. get a year subscription Nick to Nick. a magazine. I mm -hmm. love the magazines that we get um, from all the different subscriptions. Four different choices as far as mm -hmm. magazines you're able to choose from, mm -hmm. uh, depending on what your likes and dislikes and, and stuff are. And yeah, Rob's throwing some stuff up there as far as some of the stuff you might get if you sign up. Yep. So, yeah. And then in addition to your membership, you can also give a donation. So, I mean, uh, the amount of money we spend on different things, you know, what's, sure. you know, $50 or $20 extra dollars or, Absolutely. you know. For like a year. Right. I mean, really, especially yeah. knowing that the, what they're what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It'll help super out exponentially. Important. Super, super important stuff yeah. to do. Um, all right. So, everybody's going to do that. So, we got that down. All right. So, we got five memberships. We got all, all, <laughs> all five people. We've grown to five. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Um, all right, so so we got that straight. Um, so again, the reason for today's show, um, it, it changed a little bit. We were going to talk about something other than what mm -hmm. we're talking about today. Um, we don't want you just to hear the bad news um, sure. all the time about guns. And that seems to be the media's MO and the politicians. Um, it's their agenda, for sure. Their agenda. Yeah. Um, and maybe more attention needs to be given to the positives of responsible firearm ownership and usage. So Absolutely. that's what today's show is about. Um, we're going to go over some positives, you know, some people that um, used firearms to defend themselves against attacks and yeah. different things and protected um, citizens and Whether saved a lot of ones, lives. Whatever. Yeah, sure. there have been a lot of people that have been saved because right. there was responsible gun owners that had guns. So taking them away is really going to be a disservice to the communities um, all over. Yeah. But what I wanted to touch on, for, what we wanted to touch on first is what happened yesterday, last night, actually. Um, Shad and I went and went and saw that new movie. Maverick. 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 
So, yeah. and there was somebody, who was it, the girl at the counter? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Somebody was talking about the, that she was too young for the first yeah. movie. And I was yeah. like, what? You haven't seen Top Gun? Like, right. how old am I that you haven't seen the original, right? Well, I mean, what a good movie. It came out in 86. I'm pretty sure it was 1986 is mm -hmm. when it was released. So, I mean, it has been a smidge. I guess it's been a little bit. But, yeah, yeah we saw the second movie, or Maverick. Yeah. And that was really good. really good. So, I would say go see it. That was very cool. Even if you haven't seen the first one, for you younger folk, yeah. um, it's really good. Yeah, really you didn't, it was they, very entertaining. They went back and showed a few things little just flashbacks. to let sure. you understand kind of what happened, mm -hmm. but um, you don't have to have seen See the, the first, first one, one, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, no, it was a really good movie. So yeah. it was kind of cool date night last night. Yeah. But while we were at the movies, um, there was this uh, thing on from Biden, um, mm -hmm. and it was very disturbing. We listened to it kind of on the way home, yep. and we were very um, we were very upset about it. Yeah. And, um, we don't like that he's uh, using this tragedy that happened recently to push his, the but, agenda. Yeah. Um, and I feel like some of the things that he was saying were untrue um, and absolutely out of context. Right. Uh, untrue or at least misleading. Misleading, right? for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so one of the things, number one on our list of things that we're going to talk about that he said yesterday is that Americans want stricter gun laws. Um, he blatantly said it multiple times. He insinuating that all Americans, I'm an American. if not most I don't. Americans, uh, want stricter gun laws. Right. And according to BBC News, only 52% of Americans surveyed said they want stricter gun laws, while 35% said they should remain. This, oh, sorry, I flipped those. 35% of Americans said they wanted. Wait. Hold on, I'm messing this up. 52% of Americans surveyed said they wanted stricter gun laws, but 35 said. Hmm. Am I opposite? Am I opposite day? It looks like it. Okay. Um, so 52% of American surveys said that they want stricter gun laws, while 35% said they sh should remain the same. I don't believe it. I don't <laughs> Honestly, believe it it's well, again, not who true. Are, who are they polling? I mean, that's just it. I and mean, BBC you, you know, depending on who you poll, right. you can get all sorts of skewed numbers. How right. many people did they poll? Correct. Did they poll 100 did they, people? Did they, did they right. do just Democrats and, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, where did they get the pool from? But nonetheless, correct. I mean, reality is it's... I mean, there's hundreds of millions of people that own correct. firearms. Yes. They don't want stricter gun laws. Right. Um, what they do want is to stop seeing these tragedies happen, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And everybody can agree on that, right? Yes. So they want these mass shootings, which we're going to go over what that is, right. um, and why they keep saying mass shootings, because it's not, they're not mass shootings, they're actually right. active shooters, right. um, to stop. And we all agree on that. Absolutely. Um, it even goes back to the whole George Foreman thing, too, to be quite honest, because it George, pinned George people. Floyd. Floyd? Yeah. Foreman is the. <laughs> you want a grill? <laughs> go check out George Floyd. Foreman. You get a grill. Floyd. But let's talk about George Floyd. Yeah. But it goes back to George Floyd. Right. Yeah. That they pin two people, you know, people against each other where sure. we all, I think every single American really felt that that was horrible. Absolutely. Right? And it was like they pinned uh, like, oh, well, you don't believe. And then it was this whole divisive thing. Correct. Um, which Biden ran on that he was not going to divide the country. And he has divided the country on every single thing that he's touched. And it's been it's more divisive than ever and it's horrible because yep. I think for the most part Americans just want to be free. They want to live their lives, That's they don't right. want to be told what they can and can't do when they're law abiding citizens. We want criminals right. to be punished. We want all of the same things, right? I mean freedom of speech, freedom of We don't want to pay five dollars for gasoline. Five dollars for gasoline, it's horrible, just saying. right? Right. All right, so good guys with guns, um, basically Almost all national survey estimates indicated that defensive gun uses by victims are at least as common as offenses used by criminals. So it's hmm. equal. Right, but, but all you don't we hear, hear no. about it in the news. Absolutely. Right? All we ever hear about is somebody that got shot, why they got shot, and it was always, you know, bad guy doing blah, 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 whatever. You never hear about good guy defending family, friends, or even people that don't even know. Right. So. Yeah, it's crazy. So annual uses of defensive shootings and saving people and saving lives okay. range from 500,000 to more than 3 million. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. So you it's don't crazy. hear about those. I mean, no. I'm, I don't think I have ever, maybe once, I should say, Very heard a, on the news yeah. about a good you know, person that used their guns good Samaritan. to defend you know, yeah. something. Um, from happening, a bad thing from happening. If it is, it's the last last thing they talk about. 
right. if they talk about it. Correct. Okay. And the CDC found that the defensive use of a gun by a victim is actually a fairly common occurrence. Um, and it's more common than people even know. Right. Um, so do your research, you know, and, um, and definitely go through uh, the good stories and learn about, you know, how the media just focuses on the bad stories. Yep. Um, okay. Number two thing that um, upset us, and I just kind of touched on it, is mm. that whole mass shooting. So a lot of I can't, I can't even count how many times he said mass shooting, weapons of war, things that are just infuriating. Right. Yeah. But mass shooting, so let's talk about mass shooting versus active shooter. So the country does not have a single definition for mass shootings. I couldn't find one. It, right? it seems like in, in the past several years or whatever, it seemed like when they were talking about mass shooting stuff, that they were talking about two or three or more people that were shot not necessarily died mm -hmm. but were shot so right. i think that's kind of their criteria which is very 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 small right the reality is if you think about it if there's a murder suicide and two people are involved that's considered a mass shooting right what the hell yeah this this is like this information i got from the fbi right yeah so an active shooter they tracked over a decade active shooter incidents right and they call it active shooter Correct. which is exactly the stuff that we're really talking about right. here i mean I it's mean, when realistically. an individual right. actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a populated area. That is an active shooter incident. And, and, right? I, and I agree. And when I think of a mass shooting, that's what I think about. Right. I, I think about that kind of situation. So this is where stuff kind of gets skewed. It's the verbiage. Right. And you can kind of get numbers, right? You can make numbers do anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's reality. Sure. You yeah. know. So, But this information from the FBI... Mm -hmm. Good. So let's hear what they got to say. According to the FBI, there were 345 active shooter incidents okay. in the United States between 2000 and 2020. So that's 20, 20. years resulting in 1,024 deaths. So in oh. 20 years, right. there were 1,024 deaths. deaths in active shooter incidents. Now that is an accurate account. Now, now a yeah. thousand people is a it's lot a of lot. people, but it's 20 years. Sure. So when people say there were 250 mass shootings in 2022. Last month. Last month. No, I'm they, like, they, I know. how I'm is like, that even what possible? What are you talking about? Yeah. It's because they're, they're classifying mass shootings. They're Again, by, by that whole two people or, or more getting shot. Correct. So, so a husband can shoot his wife and then shoot himself. And, and it's a mass shooting. Right. Right. So ultimately, you have to uh, make sure that you're really being educated on what is actually going on. Correct. And the FBI has it right with tracking um, active, active shooter shooters. incidents and Correct. not mass shootings because there is technically no definition for that. Because God knows how many mass shootings are happening in Chicago on a daily basis. Oh my gosh, gangs and all different, you know. And very, very strict gun laws there for some reason. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, the numbers in Chicago are ridiculous. Yeah. yeah New sure. York, LA. So albeit those are, you know, extremely highly populated areas, so you obviously are gonna have more opportunities, mm -hmm. but still those are all states that are very highly regulated gun restrictions. Right. Whether it's magazine capacities or whatever. Yep. So you have these places that don't allow a bunch of stuff, which is what they're attempting to do, mm -hmm. yet there's more crime happening there than other places. Because criminals <gasps> don't follow Wait, what? the rules. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they don't follow the rules, And people. I'm pretty sure that's why they're criminals. Right. <laughs> Correct. Yep. Um, the third thing we didn't like, uh, what he said, is that... Um, mass shootings or guns are the number one killer of children. So this right. is really misleading stuff. Um, and I was yeah. very, very upset about that. And then as I'm doing research and I'm Googling it, what's coming up is that it's true. Right. But when you look, when you look at the actual statistics of it, right. um, the data from CDC shows 4,300 young Americans died from firearm-related injuries. Okay. What else? Um, while suicides contribute to the toll, the data shows that homicides form the majority of gun-related deaths. So they're talking about suicides. Correct. 19 and under. So, so why, why would you select 19? Because last time I checked, 19 is not considered a child. As a matter of fact, 18 is not considered a child. Yeah, 18 technically is considered an adult. Right. So, so is, shouldn't it have been 17 or under? I mean, you would think, because if you can be in the military and defend our country right. at 18, uh, I don't consider them children. Right. So saying that children right. 
I mean, well, and, and does again, that include it's, people that are in the military that are right. 18 years old that fight for our country and die and died, right. uh, of a gunshot wound? Um, then and did they have to choose that number? Did they have to choose 19 in order to reach the number that they needed in order to pass? Yeah. What was the, the next one? Was it? Car crashes. It was car crashes. Mm -hmm. And then overdoses. Correct. Drugs. Hmm. Yeah. So they had to select a particular number in order to get to that. Correct. So I'm assuming, and now again, I'm, I'm curious to see what the numbers are if you included the 18 yeah. and 17 <clears throat> and kind of get those so we can actually see what the differences are. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was very disturbing to hear him say yeah. that. And I'm sure there are a lot of Americans that are not informed. And that's why I wanted to bring this up because it's, right. you know, when you hear something like that, you're like, oh my gosh, is that actually true? That's horrible. It, it, abs absolutely. You got to also think about the guns that are not safely stored. Correct. Um, so we were talking about the Sandy Hook. Um, yeah thing that happened that was horrible um and how that how did that kid who was mentally right. ill how did he get his hands on these right. guns right I, and i remember it being in a safe and i was mm -hmm. thinking that maybe he made her open the safe right or maybe he had the combination safe i don't know i can't remember but i do know right. that they were locked up and they were in a right. safe and that is currently on the books in law like literally For florida. in florida i mean when we teach you know our classes and yep. when we talk to people we tell them it is your responsibility to safely store your firearms That's correct. period you are held responsible if something happens and i even tell them not just minors untrained people Correct. if somebody has an accident felons anybody that has access to your guns right. that are not supposed to have access to your guns and something happens you are held responsible right. period and, and he here's the problem though so if somebody breaks into your home and steals your firearms they're breaking the law correct and so right so again so should you be held responsible by somebody breaking the law in order to getting them that's, and, that's well, well i get it but Florida. then they're going to turn around and say yeah but you didn't have it securely encased right you didn't have it secured you didn't have and, it's, and this is kind of gets into, I'm not sure if you're going to bring up, again, I have no idea what's going on in the show. She starts, <laughs> and I just start spouting shit off. Yeah. So um, they were also talking about liability, and they mm -hmm. want to change the liability for gun manufacturers so they yeah. can be sued if their gun is used to kill somebody. It's horrible. And it just boggles my mind. Because if that's the case, then why don't you do the same thing for alcohol cars. Mm -hmm. and cars? Yeah. Because if somebody's drunk driving, then the alcohol and manufacturer in a yeah. and the, the car manufacturer mm -hmm. should be able to be held liable as well. And that's well. ridiculous. They shouldn't it's be insane. held liable. It is not the car's fault that the person, you know, it's not the alcohol's the, fault. The, the gun is not made to go out and kill people. And right. I realize people go, well, yeah, that's what they were made. Well, no, they weren't actually made for that. They were actually made to hunt. Right. I mean, that's truly what now people started using them for other purposes. Right. But again, I realize the gun is the tool, but we, it's a tool. Yeah, we have to start holding people accountable for their actions. That's right. Um, and the way that this administration is going, they're lightening up on crime. They're doing this cashless bail. Right. That what you, the they're fuck? not even having police respond to different things that are happening, like theft. I mean, I watched uh, they're, something. They're like crimes on the rise. Well, fuck. I wonder why. I mean, we have to hold people responsible. That is what's happening. We have a problem in our society where people are not being held accountable. That's right. They immediately start blaming everybody else, all this other stuff. And it has nothing to do with that other stuff. Um, there's millions and millions of guns out there, um, and only a thousand twenty-four deaths in twenty years for active shooters. For active shooters, I mean, come on, this is not rocket science here, people. Right. It is not the gun. Uh, there's so many responsible gun owners, and it has nothing. And to people do want with to the totally gun. bash the situation of, oh, that's the thing you always go to, but it's reality. It's true. So, uh, and I'm gonna. I know she doesn't want me to do this. I'm gonna do it anyway. So. <laughs> When 9-11 occurred, everybody wanted to vilify every Muslim. Did we vilify every Muslim? No. Why? Because it was just some few morons that were doing it. Right. So why would you vilify every gun owner for what these morons are doing? Right. They're absolute, just insane people doing insane things. Correct. We got to hold people accountable, and that's what it is. Right. The the lunatics that are doing these bad things, um, they're not as common as the media is trying to make you think, mm -hmm. um, and they just publicize it so much. They do. Um, all right, so we also want to talk about the border crisis, okay? Because in doing the research, and it was saying, you know, um, and we're talking about, you know, deaths and what are the leading causes of deaths right. in children and, you know, 19 and under and all this stuff. Well, and just in general, right? In uh, just we, were, in general. we were curious to know what is the leading cause of death 
in the U.S. for Americans. Sure. Right? Uh, drug overdoses are what? huge. What? Mm -hmm. um, and as far as drug overdoses go, um, it's very, very disturbing um, about the border uh, because right. what's happening at our border is uh, nearly over, over a million encounters have happened in 2022 of illegal wow. illegals coming in. And I know people don't like to say illegals, but they're illegally. And again, this comes down to crime. And if you have crime, if you do a crime, you have to be held accountable. Right. Okay? So these people are committing crimes. They're coming into our country illegally. That's a crime. Okay. Bottom line. Um, but it's okay. Hey, we'll even give you a cell phone. Biden, Come on in. Biden illegal Im uh, migrant releases. Um, all right. So the number of illegal migrants, they call them migrants, illegal mm -hmm. immigrants, the Biden administra administration has released into the United States is greater than the population of Seattle or Denver. Greater than the population of Seattle wow. or Denver. Over 780,000, 760,000. Right. Yeah, I think the number that have been allowed in is 836,000. 836, illegal immigrants. Illegal wow. Yeah. And then the kicker to that, um, and where it, the drugs tie in, yep. is the U.S. Border Patrol Chief, uh, Raul Ortiz, three... Um, said on May 27th that he sees 131 pounds of fentanyl. This, this was a three, on the 27th, he in reported three a three-day total. This mm -hmm. is over three days, and he just did it on the 27th, so this is less than a, a week days old. Ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, they seized 131 pounds of fentanyl. Wow. 26 pounds of heroin, 13 pounds of meth, 22, they had to do 22 water rescues. Wow. They had 18 large groups of illegals crossing, um, totaling 2,446 2, people in three days. They arrested, or they, they um, came across 10 sex offenders, three gang members, one assassination suspect, one fugitive wanted for murder, and three agents were assaulted in three right. days. Well, and that's, that's just what they seized and what they caught. Correct. What did they not catch and what did right. they not seize? Right, because there's t so many times where you see the video of people crossing and there's it's nobody crazy. around because there's no wall. Right. <laughs> that mean, was there and already paid for and already funded and it's just sitting there, it just needs to be put in. Right. Wow. So incidents of drug overdoses and poisonings rose 83% between 2019 and 2020. So well, this is a huge possible? problem that we're having. Wow. We need to address. Yeah. Um, 954 young people died of overdoses in 2020. 954 young wow. people died of overdoses in 2020. So think about that. Yeah. And what do they consider young people? Do we know? Was there an age on that um, at all or just young people? No, it just says young people. Right. So again, um, you know, yeah. what's that age group? I don't know. You know, and who knows? It could be up to 21. Who knows? I don't know. But still, that's, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So think about it. 954 people died in just 2020 alone over right. drug overdoses. But yeah, when we go to the active shooter, right. a, a thousand, thousand over 20, 20 years. years. Right. Think about those numbers. Correct. Isn't yeah. that insane that people yeah. don't like... Yep. Go, well, maybe the problem, you know, we should focus on really is drug overdoses, right? Um, well, hold on. Aren't the, drugs illegal? Right. Just saying. Just saying. Um, and a big culprit for the uh, overdoses are, is this fentanyl, right? And really bad. And Mexican drug cartels are mixing this powerful, highly addictive opioid yep. in much to the illegal street drugs that are yep. out there. Heroin, um, fake opioid pain pills, um, cocaine, all yep. these street drugs that are, good point. Right. <laughs> illegal. Yeah, illegal. Illegal drugs, right? Right. Um, the CDC, I wonder if Biden's getting the kickback for letting all the, the drug cartel just walk through and bring stuff in. I'm also trying to figure out why he's visiting, you know, all of these. He's too busy to go to the border. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's been two, two years he's been in office? Year and a half. Okay, so it's been that long. He's too busy to go to the border, which is right in Texas. It's not that far. But he's right. been all he over goes the everywhere. country yeah, he goes visiting, everywhere. you know, the sites of these active shooter situations and things like that. He's gone all overseas, all over the place. Yep. But he can't find one day or a half a day or right. an hour Basically, out of his schedule to go to the border and see what is happening. He wants to send the hyena, but she really doesn't <laughs> go either. She's <laughs> So horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it really is horrible. All right. 
Um, the CDC data shows that the South is seeing drug deaths rise 25 to 30 percent. Also, the state of wow. Kansas, where this particular person was reporting, saw a 42 percent increase of fatal overdoses in the last year. 42 percent. Wow. So we need to do something about the drug deaths, deaths um, and we need to start focusing on other things other than, you know, Right. The media pushing you towards deflecting to something else. Right. And technically, I guess right now we're considered the media. Sure. Yeah. Spread the word. All right. The fourth thing we didn't like, and I mentioned it earlier, was weapons of war. Yes. Okay. They keep talking about weapons of war and these weapons of war and assault weapons and all this stuff. It's very, very upsetting because I own a lot of firearms and I, what are you doing? Weapon of war. I, I just have a assaulted bruise. her. That is now an assault pen. <laughs> Please stop calling AR 15s weapons of war. Please. And assault rifles. AR does not stand for assault rifle. And yes. I know most of the people watching this already know that, but please. Correct. We don't call them assault rifles. Call them modern sporting rifles right. or AR 15, but you know, it's. Weapons of, of war. war need to be. Please stop saying that. So yes. the point remains no soldier today would want to go into battle with an AR-15. Correct. A civilian AR-15, right? When given the opportunity to use true military firearms, weapons of war, which are the M4 carbine or an M249 machine gun. Correct. Uh, select fire, full auto. Correct. Well, and that's what select fire means. Select fire means you have the option of either de doing full automatic, which what does that mean? That means that you pull the trigger, you hold the trigger down, and it keeps giving you bullets out of the front of it until you release the trigger. Correct. That's full auto. Correct. You can do select fire, and that can get you into one of two different phases, depending on the manufacturer, what they're looking for. It can either be bursts, so maybe it's a three round burst, or single fire. Correct. Right. And then safe. Correct. Yep. Um, so what is the definition of weapons of war, right? So like went to Wikipedia, Google, any mm -hmm. item of equipment supplied by states or armed groups to their armed forces or members so that in an armed conflict they can take violent action against the enemy and whose use within the limits justified by military necessity and the rules of international humanity law is legitimate in a time of war. Right. So. Nine millimeter? I yeah. I mean, he's talking oh, about absolutely. that being a weapon of war. Yeah. So this is where it really gets interesting. So he does bring up a lot um, in his speeches, whether it was the one last night or previous speeches. He does talk about the Second Amendment, and when the Second Amendment was created, it was not created because at that point there were limitations. Right, it's not um, absolute, he keeps saying. He says it's not absolute, and there were limitations. He said that you couldn't have bought a cannon when the Second Amendment was created. And that is actually an inaccurate statement. Because there was never any kind of definition on what you could and could not buy. It came down to a monetary fact. So monetarily, it was very, very, very expensive in order to buy a cannon. So you probably were unable to buy a cannon due to monetary reasons. Yeah. So there really wasn't any kind of legislation in the US regarding what you could and could not purchase until 1934. Correct. So Joe Dumbass. Oh, Jesus. Get your fucking facts <laughs> straight. Wow. OK. Okay, so um, thank you for your segue into the NFA, which is the National Firearms Act, um, which was created in 1934, like Shad just said. Um, <laughs> and firearms subject to the 1934 Act included shotguns, rifles, having barrels less than 18 inches in length, certain firearms described as any other weapons like machine guns, firearm mufflers, or silencers, right? So they enacted this NFA, National Firearms Act, to regulate who can have a full auto um, silencer, right. a short barrel rifle, or a short barrel uh, shotgun. Right. And, and why this stuff occurred was in that time period, um, I believe that's when Elliot Ness mm -hmm. had created the FBI, right? Didn't he, well, he was the head of the FBI, I guess, I think. Was it Elliot Ness? Anyway, the FBI had that. just been created. <laughs> Right. Um, and they were really losing battles to whether it was Bonnie and Clyde, whether it was Saint the Valentine's Chicago Day that, massacre. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. you had all these people that were using Tommy guns, mm -hmm. full auto BARs, all these guns that were full autos, um, and it wasn't going well for them. So they wanted to make sure that that didn't happen anymore. So they enacted this particular uh, act, NFA item. Um, 
it was also prohibition. Mm -hmm. So why silencers got put on was because during prohibition, they didn't want people to come out and shoot livestock and take their livestock because of prohibition and the Great Depression and all that was happening. Mm -hmm. So the problem is, is these have never been removed. So the problem is, is once you give an inch, they take a mile, right. and once something goes away, it never comes back. Right. So this is where we have to be very, very diligent and thoughtful and mindful about what we end up giving up. Because right. they want us to do stuff, and we know that that's not what's gonna fix the issue, because it's already enacted in other states, and it has not fixed the issue. Correct. So they wanna do this stuff, and then it doesn't work. It's not gonna And work. then it never gets repealed. Correct. So what the hell? Right. So who can buy a full auto, right? So there is the, the NFA Act, yeah. so you have to pay a $200 tax stamp, mm -hmm. um, and you can't take possession of the item until you pass a very um, stringent Str background check. Uh, That's correct. You, um, and, and it's, it's actually and done, the background check is done by the FBI. Correct. On behalf of the ATF. Correct. And um, I, I did bring up two uh, that are for sale right now that are available to the public. Yep. Um, gun broker. And on Gunbroker, right? Mm -hmm. So here's an online uh, sale, sales, whatever, online yep. store. Um, and the first one is the Colt. Um, the Colt 1921, for, it's a 45. It's Tommy full gun. auto, Tommy, Tommy gun. gun. There you go. The price tag on it, $65,000. Right. Okay. And again, full auto, here's the thing. So you have, I believe it's 230,000 serialized items that are full autos that can be sold and transferred between civilians. Mm -hmm. That number is never going to get added to. It will only shrink as stuff, just mm -hmm. whether it gets used in a bad way, which then gets destroyed, whatever, right? It might get lost, but those things just go away and nothing else will ever get added to it. Correct, yeah. So. Um, and then the second one is the HK MP5, and that guy is $59,500. Yep. So these are what have, are considered weapons of war. That's correct. Um, and they're $60,000. So it's not like when people say, oh, weapons of war, that is what you should be thinking right. about, not an AR-15 semi-automatic that is not a weapon of war That's because correct. military does not use these AR-15s. That's right. Um, so that is absolutely untrue. Stop listening to the media. They don't know what they're talking about. And even the leader of the free world that is using these terms incorrectly. Yep. Um, so Again, absolutely. It's, it, he uses it to his agenda. Right. And that's basically what they do. Mm -hmm. So, yes. and unfortunately we're sitting here, we have an agenda, mm -hmm. right? Because our agenda is to fight for our right. Correct. Fight for our second amendment right. And I'll be more than happy to have a nice conversation with whoever wants to have the conversation. Um, mm -hmm. If you give me some facts, I'll listen to them. Absolutely. And I'm more than happy to. And if you can prove me wrong, please prove me wrong. Right. Right. And I'm, I'm just, I can eat crow. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. So. And that's the thing, you know, I, I know a lot of people will say, well, you guys are partial because it's your business right. and this is your, your livelihood. This isn't our first livelihood. We've done other things. Um, we're very passionate about this because yeah. um, there's a lot of misinformation. Again, that stigma about guns how I got into this industry. Yeah. I was definitely afraid of guns. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't grow up around them, you know, and, and here we are, you know, fighting for our rights to own them. Um, but what I want to really kind of, you know, pass along is that we're like, no bullshit. It's, it's, there's things that could probably be done to help out to reduce different things that are happening. But, right. but I feel like the lawmakers aren't coming to the gun shops, the gun owners, and saying, hey, let's talk about this and that and the other thing. Right. What they're doing is they're going to victims. Like, they're going to the parents of these children that were just killed and going, what can we do? And of what course, they're like, happy? ban guns. Their child were just murdered by some lunatic that used a gun. What are they going to do? It's like right. if their child was just ran over by a car of a drunk driver, 
then they'd become advocates for drunk driving, right? Absolutely. So what they they need to be doing, lawmakers, is talking to people that are actually in the industry. So in talking about that whole uh, raising the age to 21, now here yep. in Florida, it already is 21. You have to be 21 in and, order to purchase and they did, any gun. Right. They did that after a mass Parkland. shooting, mm -hmm. the Parkland shooting in Florida. Florida then changed everything to 21. Mm, correct. So, um, and, and although I feel like, okay. Well, they also made a waiting period, right? Correct. So they did up the waiting period. So the waiting mm -hmm. period is the same as it is for pistols in the state of Florida. So there is a waiting period, so you can't just buy it and leave with it. Correct. And, you know, um, in doing some research, six of the nine deadliest active shooters in the right. United States uh, were by people that were 21 or younger. So it makes sense that people would say, hey, you know, 21 it makes good sense and maybe you should be 21 so you know and I'm right. thinking okay well maybe that's common sense you know maybe we should do that but then I start doing more research well you can pick your own gender at four right Dems so if we're gonna do 21 for the gun age right then why don't we do 21 for picking your own gender wouldn't that make sense and fighting for your country fighting for your country if you can die and shoot a gun then you can go to war right and use a At weapon 18. of war, then you should probably be 21. Right. Um, the age limit, the driving age limit for driving, right? 16. It depends on the state, but yeah, it could be yeah. 16, 17, 18, right? Yeah. Then so maybe, maybe people should shouldn't be driving until they're 21, right. right? Because that's what you're saying, that their mental capacity, you're not capable of right. making these decisions right. or having something that could take somebody's life. Because the reality is driving a car, all right. you have to do is switch into the other lane real quick and you're now going to kill a bunch of people. Correct. And there's no limitations on what car Correct. you can buy when you're 21 or under. That's right. Um, they, they're not going to say you can't get this Ferrari. You can't get this really fast car. If you can pay for car. it and you get it, you can get it. Right. So why are there no limitations on that? So there's right. a lot of things that came up when I was doing this. Okay, go, you know, common sense. Well, you know, that statistic about how many um, active shooters were under 21. Right. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe that's okay. But then I think about this other stuff and I go, wait a minute. Right. You know, if you're saying that they're not mature enough to do this, then you've got to right. keep it you know, consistent. So what is the age of, of adulthood? Is it 21 or right. is it 18? Yeah. Because you can't have it both ways. You can't say, oh, this person is mature enough to, to not own a gun, but this person is mature enough to go into war. Right. It just doesn't make sense. Agreed. So we, it just has to be across the board and I'm okay with that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So let's, you know, let's talk And again, talk usually about there's no logic or accountability, yeah. unfortunately, when, um, Democrats are, are talking about these numbers and talking about this stuff. There's just, yeah. it's just, it's bad it's and you need to get rid of it's, it. It's a knee-jerk reaction, get rid of it. yeah. And the other thing is too, you know, common sense gun reform or whatever they right. want to call it. You know, I mean, when they pulled the, um, yeah. the stocks, the bump stocks. bump stocks, right? So they knee-jerk reaction to Vegas, the Vegas shooting was banning gun stock, uh, bump, bump stocks. stocks. Um, and, and I thought to myself, why would they ban a bump stock? They didn't ban uh, full auto, right? right? They regulated it. Right. So why wouldn't you just regulate right. those? And you can make a $200 tax stamp. So the government would make $200 for every single bump stock. You'd have the registry, basically, that you're on. Yep. Um, and they'd have, go through a very stringent background check by the FBI. Fingerprinted, and photographed, why whole, whole deal. ban something, right? right? Regulate, regulate it. it so i just don't understand why this is common sense right yeah so instead of calling for bans why don't we regulate it okay well now of course i don't want that ar-15s right. to be regulated but it would be a better step than banning them wouldn't right. it yeah. i mean maybe people wouldn't have a problem paying 200 all tax stamp oh, yeah, versus versus ban yeah yeah we would versus ban well, if I have it. If you have to choose. Well, if I have it, I already have it. So the Correct. ban just means there's no more sale of it. Right. So if I already have it, I already have it. Right. But a new person that wants to get an AR-15. Well, I get it. Instead of not being able to have it, wouldn't it be better to have it? I'm just saying, I don't want it. I, I don't, don't agree be, with it. Yeah. But I mean, we're I on the list. I mean, banning. we own gun shops. So we're already on the list. Yeah. And we already own <laughs> NFA items. So we're on right. the list. So they're coming to our house. But, <laughs> but nonetheless. Right. So... It's just where does it end, right? Yeah. So it, it, they talk about common sense stuff, and it really does need to be common sense because what they talk about is not common sense it is not. at all. Nope. And I wish that they'd come to people like us and people in the industry yeah. um, instead of blackballing people. I mean, I know the Daniel Defense Company is family owned. They're the ones that made the rifle, which this lunatic used in this in most Texas. recent yeah. you know, shooting. Um, and 
They're blaming, of course, the gun manufacturer, Absolutely. who it's I'm crazy. sure is devastated by this. You know, yeah. we talk about it all the time. If we ever sold somebody a firearm that used it in a crime that, you know, like this, we would be devastated. Right. I mean, it's just the most horrible thing I could even think of. Um, so to, for the media and for, you know, them to start blaming Daniel Defense... It's, it's is crazy. absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. So, again, we have to place blame where blame should be, and that is with the person that did this, um, not the tool that was used. Um, yeah. Because he could have just built a bomb and blew up the school. He Knives, could have done a whatever. Bunch of take, your, take your pick. You just got to blame the person. I mean, sure. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. Then they're talking about uh, magazine capacity. So he's, he's dumb, 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 was talking about it last night. And he's talking about high capacity magazines. Well, you know, you're talking about magazines, um, but let's just say you have ten, a 10 round max. Mm -hmm. So a 10 round max for this guy would be okay? Right. Right? Yeah. Or a 10 round, you know, for, for one of these other, other ones. Three, eight, I yeah. mean, I'm just saying, like, right. what, you're, again, it doesn't make any sense. It it's, makes no sense what you're saying. It's a magazine. It doesn't take very long. I can carry a whole bunch of these. I mean, so all I have to do is reload. Change. I can reload very, very, very fast. Absolutely. So just because there's 10 rounds in it instead of 30. It's not going to really make any difference at all, it especially when it takes an hour and 15 minutes to go in. Right. That, that is one of the main things um, that clearly is the problem, right? Because mm -hmm. they're going, well, good, good guys with guns didn't stop, you know, what right. happened. Well, the good guys with guns didn't go in. They sat out for an hour and 15 <laughs> minutes before they went in. And mm -hmm. even the Parkland shooting, the FBI had went and and actually talked to this kid right. and didn't take once or at least twice right. so prior talk to this about happening. Red flag laws. They're talking Hello. about the red flag laws, right? right? So they didn't go take that kid's guns. Right. Why? Right. So again, so there was stuff in place and there was stuff that should have happened, but it didn't happen. Right. So don't blame it on the gun or that other shit. There was stuff in place and it shouldn't have happened, period. Right. I mean, hell, this kid out in Texas, his, he asked his sister to go buy a gun. Mm -hmm. So she Tried already knew that he wanted to do purchase. something weird. Right. right. So why the hell didn't she say something? Right. So why don't you hold her accountable? Yeah. Hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there were so many things that, that and on all of yeah. these uh, incidents that you can track back. Even yeah. rules that are in place right now are just not being followed. So maybe we use this energy and this yeah. money that we have to, you know, perfecting how law enforcement and other agencies sure. can enforce the things that already are, are in, in place. place. Right? Yeah. How to, you know, uh, social media companies maybe should be reporting things. One of my friends got reported for saying something about our shooting club. Like she said something about a gun or something. And she was literally like cut off. Yeah. <laughs> she private messaged me and said, I'm in Facebook jail because I said this. Right. And it was like basically just something about coming to the shooting club. Yeah. So she's blocked. Um, but this active shooter guy who's talking about shooting up a school. Yeah. Not what happened blocked. there? Yeah. Nothing was, nothing was blocked. Like. What yeah. happened? Why wasn't that reported? Right. Like, I don't understand that. So, so guess what? What? It's time for the drawing? We're almost out of time. <laughs> it's time for I the know, drawing. I know, it's like, believe me, we're like, oh my God, are we going to yeah. be able to, you know, do we have enough time? Holy crap. Yeah. Four minutes is a long time, believe it or not. It is a long time. It is. But we need to kind of start, you know. <sighs> Taking a breath. <laughs> get worked up. Simmer down now. We get worked up. Oh, we both get worked up. We do. It's Last night on the very passionate. from the movie, we were, we were both very really passionate. worked up listening to the, the speech that he was giving. Yeah. Um, we, we talk about, you know, not having that gun registration that they're talking about right. um, because that's how, like, the whole Nazi takeover that's thing right. happened. It started. Yep. Um, and basically, the registry is what Hitler used mm -hmm. uh, to that list to find his political opponents and Jewish people that own guns and make them yep. surrender or assassinated them. Yep. So we definitely don't want registered guns. That's right. Right? I mean, that's really, really bad. And again, and all this stuff, uh, uh, yeah, there's so much that we can go into more in regards to, you know, how that movement, and I talk about the Nazi movement, how that happened and how there's several similar things occurring currently mm -hmm. uh, with our Democratic Party. Yeah. Really got to... And I'm not calling them Nazis. Right. right? I'm not saying sure, that. But what I'm saying is there's very similar things that are occurring yeah. and that they're trying to make happen mm -hmm. that are very similar to what they, they mean in the Nazis, did in order yeah. to overthrow yeah. or yes. win their government. Yeah. So It's terrifying. Yeah. Um, so remember to join the NRA. That's very important. They're fighting for our rights. And I know we didn't do, like, gun training or teach you anything about, um, 
you know, different kinds of guns and things like that today, but we felt that it was really, really important for us to touch on these items because <laughs> Shad is really... Well, I'm just prepping. I'm just letting her talk, but, you know... Uh, it's, it's really important. I know, and it's that's why I haven't very said a word. Important. There I'm were a just lot of falsies, falsies that happened yesterday. Yeah. Falsities? Falsities. Whatever. Um, and I know that there's people that we know personally that listen to the media a lot and yep. they go, oh my gosh, why do you sell those assault weapons? And why do you have to have an assault weapon? And we're like, Hi, Mom. what? Um, so, you know, don't listen to the media. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to pick the winner of the raffle. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the winner of the raffle, again, is going to get this beautiful mm -hmm. AR. -15. And you're going to pick. I'm just making sure they're nice and all. And oh boy. Oh boy. We just lost one. Oh, you got to get it. Gotta get, get under the on, table. Excuse me. Um, All right. Very no, no looky, looky. Oh, okay. No, nope, you gotta looking. pick it. All okay. right. I'm taking my glasses off because I really can't see then. All right. Here Hand we in. go. Hand in. Dun, pick nah, it nah, out. Nah, nah. You pick it. And just one. Here we go. Here it is. Lucky winner is. Here's the winner. I don't have my glasses on. You don't have your glasses on. Oh my glasses on. Here we go. I don't know what that says. Oh lord. John. Javon Days. Javon Days. Is that what it says? Yes, Javon Days. Javon Days, you have won. And the number is what's the number on the ticket? The ticket number is 332125. Three, three, two, two, Javon Days. Bring your Days. ticket into the shop. Yes. And um, this AR 15 is yours. Of course, you have yes. to pass a background check. <laughs> Correct. You're going to have to. Go through the go, process. Go through the process, but it is, I'm not going to say free. I mean, it, you did pay for it, but it's yours now. No, well, he didn't pay for it. Ten dollars. Well, I don't know how many tickets he bought, but nonetheless, right. he paid something for it. All right, so Javon Days. That's right. Again, ticket number three three two one two five. You are the winner. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Yes. Um, somebody will reach out to you if. Um, if you're not watching this. If you're so, not watching this, but you should watch because yep. this is where we're drawing it. Yep. So you should hear from us uh, today, today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we are taping this, so it could be well, today, today or tomorrow. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It's airing at six o'clock, but we're taping a little earlier. But right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Um, you betcha. Join us every Friday from six to seven p.m. Please like, share, and subscribe on social media, and send this to all your friends. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.